just a quick heads up to my wonderful patrons. Uh, you can now vote on what weapon I'm using on Alatreon next uh, at patreon.com slash consoa. Uh, just have a look through the post and you'll find it. It's a poll. Uh, not all weapons are available, I should mention, because I've never played like Switchaxe or Gunlance, so I won't be able to do them. But there's a good selection there. Hello again, Conte. Uh, my neighbors are still at it, so sorry if you can still hear stuff in the background, but uh, hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, very standard starting run. I've got an Insect Glaive run for you here. It's around nine and a half minutes. Um, getting my sling ammo, getting my buffs, um, getting ready ro rock steady just to do that uh, flint shot right at the start. Yeah, very typical. Um, so I'm I'm a main of Insect Glaive. I play this weapon quite a lot. So this isn't as good as the Savage Axe one where I just picked up a weapon and immediately go good at it. But uh, I will say that there are a lot of mess ups in this run. I only took me like four hours or so. Uh, and so, I mean, it's in a place where there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. Uh, I want to revisit it at some point, but it's also quite achievable in my opinion. Basically, the strat for this fight is just to spam the pogo stick move. You'll see me use it an absolute ton. Um, and there are a lot of good openings for it, both in fire mode and in ice mode. In fire mode, it has that move where it sort of shoots a, uh, a breath right in the middle. Oh, by the way, you saw me go for slinger ammo there rather than punishing him while he was down, and that's because I want to charge my kinsect. It can really help you reach the elemental threshold quite easily. Um, yeah, if you weren't aware, by the way, the kinsect buff gives you something like, even without an elemental boost glaive, I think it gives you like plus 2.5 times, or maybe even 3.5 times your kinsect's elemental damage. So it really does make reaching that threshold really easy. But uh, yeah, you'll see me basically on half of his moves, I'm just going to try and line up a pogo stick. Sometimes I get a bit too greedy and that does get me killed. Um, getting used to the momentum of controlling where the character goes uh, with the pogo stick jump is definitely uh, worth doing in my opinion. Go into the training area, try messing around with which direction you're holding at different points in the move and just get a feel for when you can sort of control it. There are a few points at which the momentum gets considered. Um, so yeah, get used to that. I'm still not used to it. You'll see me miss a whole bunch. But uh, yeah, it, it definitely makes a big difference. Uh, this move you can, there is a pole vault to punish that, but I'm not good at the setup, so I don't do it. I just roll into the middle and do a... Uh, idle sweep into tornado slash it's good enough um, but yeah whenever possible look at that you get two like 300 plus damage numbers it's really powerful um, like here when he goes up into the air to use that move uh, you can see because of the, the way the particles are moving you know which way the lightning's coming if it starts far you have a lot more leeway if it starts close i like to hug the legs or the chest rather than the uh, the head with the first sort of downwards thrust just because you're likely to get popped by lightning especially because you can't see it but uh yeah you'll see how i deal with flying as well in a second um, it's, it's quite a nice way to do it with Kinsect. Uh, I'll talk about the set at the end of the video. Uh, I will show you every piece of armor and every decoration. I do that right after I kill Alatrion, but before I pause on the actual armor skills to talk about them. So please don't, please have a look for that rather than complaining that I haven't showed you the set. You can see me getting a bit too greedy with the pogo stick there, by the way. Um, now, I think I'm running Safi Jiva. No, 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 I'm, I'm running a Master's Touch and and stuff so I don't think I have that much evasion window so it can be quite difficult to dodge but a lot of the time with the pogo stick you're kind of positioning away rather than iframing stuff the rules can be a bit difficult but it's uh, it's it's not too bad um, now regarding the set I find it quite difficult to reach the elemental threshold with the uh, insect glaive but uh, I, I kind of overcome that with the kinsect and with the this over here when it flies up if you haven't already proc the elemental give it a few attacks with your flying mode uh, I don't know if you know how elemental damage calcs work but it's fixed damage per hit Rather, unlike um, regular games where it's it's every hit does like a, a raw skill value. This is just every one of your attacks is going to do a certain amount of elemental damage. Uh, it will be modified down a tiny bit for the flying attacks. But yeah, it's a very quick way to apply element. And so then that's why it's a good way to knock him down. Uh, yeah, nice topple. And then you just get in the head and, and do a bunch of tornado slashes. Um, yeah, you'll see how I sort of dodge the moveset. Pay attention to how I punish his openings. He's not going to necessarily be optimal. There are definitely a few pogo stick uh, openings that I'm not good enough to use. But I mean, this is consistently getting me sub 10, so... Uh, hopefully should be good enough now over here i try to re-enrage it but the game just decides to really screw me over and so for like uh, half a minute i just do absolutely jack all uh, you could easily push this run down to like a, a sub nine uh, sort of mid eights just by not making some of the mistakes that i did and also with just this enrage <laughs> i even give up after this actually uh, look I've, I've, I've kind of just given up on trying to get him into rage mode um, yeah, he keeps spamming that lightning move, which is just a, it just doesn't allow you to uh, to get off on it. And here, then I miss the Kinsect buff. It's just a nightmare. You see, it's been about 30 seconds. <laughs> what a waste. But uh, yeah, okay. So now I see an opportunity to get him into rage mode. If you aren't aware, I'm trying to enrage him because it gives you 20% more damage uh, during rage mode. And also I have Agitator, which gives me more affinity and more raw. So it's really nice. Um, I have Thorn Pods here. I don't think this Kinsect is blunt. Or if it is, I don't use it very well because I could have gotten a KO if I'd played a bit more carefully. But, uh, but I don't go for it, so that's a shame. Um, unfortunately, here yeah, I kind of mess up the inputs. As I said, still getting used to, uh, to Glaive. It's been a long time since I played it. 
Um, but yeah, just more pogo sticks. Now you can use the momentum of the pogo stick move to get you out of those lightning ranges, which is what I tried to do there. But I wasn't perpendicular enough, and it can be really difficult to do. So I would say play it a bit safer than I am. Um, you'll notice that I'm not bothering tenderizing either. My set is specifically built to give me 100% affinity without having to tenderize. I know that the meta is to tenderize uh, and to not do that, but I don't care. <laughs> I would rather take my runs take a bit too long than have to deal with the claw on this monster. Um, so yeah, again, I'll show you this in a bit and analyze it at the end. Now, I decided to get a bit cheeky and go for it. I could have used smoke bombs here um, to just deflight him, and I'm going to start doing that in the future. But I got the feeling that I might have been close to the second topple. Um, it was wishful thinking, to be honest with you, because during Dragon Mode, he takes so much less ice damage. But I was really hoping to get another topple just so I could sort of show it off. Uh, in doing so, I put myself in a lot of danger, though, so I wouldn't really recommend it. I would do it for the first flight, but not much else. Um, yeah, now generally the idea... I'll talk about the set a tiny bit here, because there's nothing interesting happening. Um, generally, the idea is to run as much ice as you need to topple him, but otherwise just focus on raw. Because any element... His elemental zones are really crap. <laughs> Especially when you consider Dragon Mod, as if you're using like ice or if you're using fire. Uh, his elemental, his zones are really bad. And so the, the, the real goal is to stack as much raw as you can and only use enough element to uh, to be able to comfortably topple him. Um, now for me, this is the Safi Jiva Ice Horn. No element augmented, but ice attack plus four on the set with an ice kinsect uh, and a dragon uh, cat. With that, I was very ab uh, easily able to... You saw how quickly I was able to knock him out of his, his mod. Um, I did it before he even into dragon phase. So there's definitely uh, a lot of room for me to reduce the ice um, and to run a better set that up, that focuses more on like other skills and stuff. I'm not doing that right now because, again, I want to do a set and a build that's comfortable for everybody. This is my preferred amount of ice. It's, it gives me a safe range. However, if it's not enough for you, you can use the Kya Ice Glaive or a better Ice Glaive, uh, like the Velk one. Um, augment it fully for ice, uh, use Crit Element, everything, and you'll be able to knock it out even faster. Um, it's really just up to you. You could even just focus on doing Kinsect damage only, as we've talked about uh, in a previous video. Uh, but for me, this is a good middle ground, but be sure you just just know that you are able to easily vary up the set if you like. Um, if you're not able to do enough ice damage, feel free to take a, a more ice heavy weapon. Um, yeah, this is another good opening. He actually likes to use this one a lot. I like to get nice and low when I pogo stick this, uh, just because it sort of guarantees you those two hits, but it's not essential. Um, Tail Swipe is another good opening. I do like the fact that he draws aggro on the cat quite a lot. Um, now, really, I should have taken off my evasion mantle a lot sooner because uh, it's not recharging but the run doesn't last long enough for that to make a difference anyway and you'll see there's a lot of whiffing isn't there i'm missing a lot of pogo sticks i'm missing a lot of uh, swipes i'm getting hit quite a bit um so this is not definitely not a perfect run there's a huge room for improvement here but uh yeah there are a few openings like that one like the uh the fire blast on the ground that is just just makes sense oh when he uh, novas get your extracts get your uh, sharpness back to full and rebuff uh so i i was going to use uh, like a might seed but i didn't have enough time so you'll see i just pop a uh, uh, one now I was actually going to pop a Demon Powder, but I, I, I came into this quest with only one at the start because I, I forgot to restock my items. Um, so yeah, he's back in big ice mode. Same thing's going to happen again, by the way. When he flies up, uh, be sure to spam your uh, aerial attacks just to try and knock him back down. Um, and I'm, I don't I don't think I mentioned it, but you see how sick my punish was when I knocked him out of the elemental, when the aerial topple. <laughs> Where I used the thing and then I changed the move. Aww. I love the pogo stick move, man. Insect Glaive is such a fun weapon now. Pogo can feel a little bit brain dead, to be honest with you. Um, like, I don't think I would uh, like to play this for too long in one session. But, uh, God, when I'm playing it, I have a good time with it. Um, but, yeah, you see me whiffing pogos left and right. Uh, you see me playing it safe as well. The slam doesn't give you a huge amount of time afterwards. So, unless you uh, start the, the aerial pole vault early, there's not really enough time to do a full thrust. So, I don't really go for it in that case. Um, here, this is a really nice opening, though. When he jumps up here, you can either do your full attack. I wanted to test out how good the regular combo was. Unfortunately, I whiff. But, uh, really, you should go for the pogo there. Um, you have so much time for it. This move here, by the way, I didn't mention it, but I tried to guide his uh, his lightning bolts away so that they're not over his face. Uh, and then that way I'm able to uh, pole vault right as the third one spawns to get away from it and to also pop the face. It's not always possible though, so you do have to play it a bit safe. Um, yep, and don't worry if you're not fighting him in fire mode. Uh, there are great fire glaives available and also he has a bunch of moves that are easy to punish too. Uh, he has the, the big ice thrust, thrust breath, especially. It's probably even easier because you don't have to iframe it um, like you do have to with the uh, with the fire blast. But yeah, you'll see whenever possible, I'm just pole vaulting away, uh, trying to land as many of the hits as I possibly can. Usually I'm failing at it, but I'm doing enough damage to it. Remember, just a single well-landed pole vault is like six or 700 damage. So it's uh, it really doesn't take long for it to build up. Um, and yeah, the horn break is obviously easy because you're just going to be going for the horns anyway. Oh, you love that backflip. 
Uh, yeah, oh, and of course the Kinsect finished it off uh, as it deserved to. Yeah, not very difficult. You see I'm not really paying much attention to my Blast Dust or anything like that. I'm kind of just unga bunga pole vaulting away. And I got a nice 9 minutes 38, I think that was. So I'm showing all these sets and the armor pieces now. Please don't, again, tell me that I didn't show the armors or the decorations. There's my weapon. Don't worry if you don't have this weapon. I pulled it off just as easily with uh, with Velk's Insect Glaive. And I also pulled it off just as easily with uh, Kyars, although I used a slightly different set. It's uh, very easy, very easy. So d don't worry if you don't have the perfect Sepijiva uh, Glaive or set. And again, don't worry about if you don't have all the decorations. Drop points of Ice Attack or drop points of DPS skills. Um, I I'll talk about the set in a second. But... Uh, yeah, I've, I've shown you it now, I've shown you the time, I've shown you the skills, so let's freeze frame with the uh, with the armor skills on screen. So first thing to note is that I'm running a very weird set. You probably noticed that I'm using 3-piece Brachidium, 2-piece Teostra with uh, Teostra Essence on the Insect Glaive. This is not some sort of crazy mad scientist ultra meta optimization I've made, not at all. Um, actually, that's really suboptimal. What I did was I took my regular set, which is 3-piece uh, Safi Jiva, 2-piece uh, Teostra and this piece so I could get Safi and Teo. Um, and I just swapped, uh, <laughs> I swapped it for more raw because I didn't want Safi on the set because I didn't need that much ice. That's the reason I'm using such a weird glaive and the glaive doesn't make any sense. So yeah, don't don't worry about that. Just run three piece TO, two piece Safi, uh, two piece Bracky uh, on your preferred uh, insect glaive. And if you do need more ice, you can run that set by the way uh, to get the extra uh, AT ice. I think Safi Jiva gives in the extra affinity. Um, but uh, yeah, so don't don't be too concerned about the the glaive itself. I know it's a bit weird, but anyway, the armor skills are very standard stuff. You see, I'm running max crit eye and max agitator. That gives us twenty percent from the agitator, forty percent from the crit eye. So we're getting sixty just from that alone. Plus the thirty from weakness exploit without tenderizing gets us to ninety. And then I have some base affinity on the glaive itself. Uh, so you see, basically what I'm trying to do is get to 100% affinity without having to tenderize. And that's why you won't see me tenderize throughout the entire run. That's not optimal. Uh, it would be better to focus on more other DPS skills and allow myself that extra affinity from the Claw Tenderize, but I hate Claw Tenderizing, so F off. <laughs> I'm running full Blight Res. I experimented on other sets without Blight Res, with just Coalescence, and I think it's actually better, but I, I kind of got sick of uh, bringing Nullberries and using them, to be honest. So I just stopped it, but it's, it's really up to you. It's not a big deal. Uh, oh, I do have a little bit of evasion window on the set, so so I did like, but uh, yeah, it's it's nice to have. Uh, otherwise, it's just fairly standard stuff. Uh, DPS skills, health boost, and nothing really else to say. I put enough ice attack on this set to make it really comfortable. Again, you can vary up the glaive. Go for the Kyar Ice Glaive. You can get so much element on that. You can get 700 element on that, and I actually have a video uh, using that coming up, which is a much more comfy set, but the times are a little bit slower. It, it takes like probably 10, 15, 20% longer. But uh, you're, you're absolutely guaranteed the elemental topple. There's no way you're going to miss it with that set. So I'll do a video on that soon. But uh, yeah, just vary up the set as much as you like. Again, if you're not doing the stupid three-piece T or two-piece bracket that I am, you can freely run whatever glaive you like, and it's really not a big deal. Um, yeah, run as much ice as you need. And then if you are running a ton of ice and you find that you're really easily toppling him elementally, uh, the more ice you can swap out for DPS skills, the better, because it'll do more consistent damage between ice mode and dragon mode. And also his ice uh, hit zones are kind of rubbish regardless. So yeah, that'll give you more DPS, but obviously it'll make it harder to elemental topple. So you need to adjust the set to find a good sort of uh, mid ground for you. But yeah, that's what I really have to say. Hopefully this all made sense. Just uh, spam the pogo stick thrust and spam your wide sweep into tornado slash whenever possible and you'll have him down in no time. Bring a cat with a, a nice kin, uh, element to back you or maybe a status. Uh, bring a kinsect with the right element. I'm using an ice kinsect on an ice glaive for fire mode. You can run a fire kinsect on an ice glaive and then that way you can use the kinsect to D element if it manages to escape to the wrong element. But uh, because this is kind of a speed run, we're going for a good time. That's not what we're doing. But again, I'm going to have a video on that soon. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully this all made sense and I hope you have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye bye.